a couple themes came up while I was goal setting for 2024. I wanted to talk about them really quickly on here with y'all to see if you can relate. So the first one is fear. I feel like for me, I've always been afraid to put myself out there. I've always been afraid to make content, publish content. I was always afraid of like what people would say, what type of feedback I would get. With that fear leading me, I would just always talk myself out of pursuing content creation in any type of capacity. Even today, I posted my first TikTok video and 56 different negative bitches popped into my head and were giving me all these reasons why it didn't make sense for me to post that video. Why are you posting that video? Don't nobody care about your eyebrows? They look like train tracks. Who, you don't even got lashes on. Where are your lashes? Why the video blurry? I thought you uploaded it in 1080p. What's going on with the settings? Why are you even doing this? Why you should do something else? Anybody gonna watch you? Why are people gonna watch you? Anybody gonna follow you? You ain't interesting enough. You regular. <laughs> I posted it anyway because I feel like I already know what living life, listening to negative voices can be. What I don't know is what happens when I ignore them hoes. The voices in our head tell us to go left. Guess what we're gonna do this year? We're gonna write every damn time. Because you know what? Today is all we have. Today is the day that you start building. So five years from now, you'll be like, thank God I finally turned it around. And now it's a lot easier said than done, but you have to have that same commitment to yourself, the way you commit to going to your job. Because if you don't go, they'll fire your ass. We need to have that same discipline with ourselves. The fear of doing anything, of starting anything, of being afraid to be seen trying to do something, it's nothing compared to what the fear should be of living a life filled with regret. I don't wanna wake up at 75 being like, you know, I could have been an influencer too. I had a great personality. I was funny, people said that I, you know, I, I could have been an actress too. I could have been acting, I could have been doing a lot of entertainment, you know, not getting involved, you know, with anything, you know, Diddy and them have going on or whatever. I wouldn't have sold my soul to them, but I could have had some, I could have made some of my life, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to live that kind of life. I came across this quote the other day that I wanted to share with you guys. Let me pull it up because it brought me to tears. It says, procrastination is the arrogant assumption that God owes you another chance to do tomorrow what he gave you the chance to do today. I feel like when you're in your 20s, you think that you have forever to do things. Time seems like it's at your beck and call and it's like, girl, I ain't even worried about X, Y, and Z right now. And then you get to a point where you're like, oh my God, I am worried about X, Y, and Z. And I do realize that life is precious and not promised to me. If there is something that you feel compelled to do, if there is a gift, a talent that you have, if you have a quirky personality, you feel like you might be too weird for the internet, that's probably the thing that's gonna make you a lot of money in the future. And you probably should share that with people. I've been suppressing a lot of the quirkiness of my personality. There's no place for me in daily life to display that, to amplify that. And you know, your family and friends, they be tired. You know what I'm saying? When you be trying to tell them jokes and stuff like that, like them people tired, them people need a break sometimes. So you need a wider audience. The second theme that kept coming up for me was exhaustion. And I feel like a lot of us don't reach our goals because we're just not tired enough of giving up on ourselves over and over and over. Tired of having the same conversations with family and friends. Oh, how's the diet going? Oh, it's going good. I just got some new kale and everything. And you ain't lost but five pounds in a whole year. So now nobody's asking you how the diet is going because you know they like listen. Maybe she she's on to something else. She's she's moved on to different pastures. She has different priorities. Maybe that's what, what type of time she on. She ain't even worried about that little weight loss goal anymore. So I'm not gonna rate up because she let me say. I'm tired of being at the same place as I was the year before because I just could not get it. I just could not discipline myself to the point where I made sure to make myself a priority. I'm tired of working hard for my job and never working that hard for myself. We already know what life is like when we give up over and over again. In order to produce a different result, we need to do everything differently and the complete opposite of everything we've been doing for however long you've been putting your dreams to the side, putting the best version of yourself to the side in exchange for a bunch of excuses. At the end of this year, I wanna be able to celebrate finally committing to myself and finally being disciplined and consistent enough to reach all of the goals that I set. There's only really two. That's another thing, simplify them goals, simplify. Last year I had 76 goals. This year I have two. Let's hold each other accountable, girl. Let's let's get down in these comments and figure out how we gonna do this this year because enough is enough and everything we've been doing is completely unacceptable. And in the words of the incomparable Tamar Esteem Braxton, I'ma call y'all back. <laughs> Bye.